Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you some more advanced techniques that you can use on loops. You can use them on any of the loops. I'll just keep it simple and use it on the for loop. Okay, so let's just get rid of this. Let's get this all snapped. Ooh, got a little error here, probably signage error. I will sort that out afterwards. Let's reload and make sure we're getting what we want. Oh, no, we're not. Ah, so this from the previous video. Let's put this back to zero. Here we go. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, so there's two really cool statements that you can use with loops. There's the break statement and the continue statement. So the break statement, as soon as it hits that inside of a loop, anywhere where uh, it's in an if statement in the loop or you know in some other curly braces it will essentially just break out of that loop so let me show you really simple so i'm gonna do actually i'll do the check at the start i'm gonna say if if i if it equals 50 will say break if i save it reload we get it all printed out but if we look you get zero two four six eight da, 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 we get to 48 but when it hits 50 it goes inside here and it does break and that literally just cancels out of the for loop any code afterwards will still continue running and the other statement i want to show you is the continue statement so if i put continue what this does is skips this particular iteration of the for loop or, or the loop i should say and then it continues with any more iterations it has left. So if I reload, as you can see, we get zero and it finishes at 100. But if we go up and get to where 50 should be, we got 46, 48, but then it skips to 52. Because when i is 50, it continues. So what that does is skips any code after that, goes back to the start of the loop and just continues with the next iteration of that loop. And that's some really cool advanced techniques that you can use with loops these are pretty universal in most languages and in some programming languages the code is, is exactly the same it's one of the things i love about javascript not only is it so easy to set up and actually use a lot of the syntax is almost identical to many other popular languages like c plus plus c php because you know it's built you know on top of that c c plus plus sort of syntax and foundation Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.